Hello there everybody, it's time again to do a recap of what's been going on the previous months. Uh, the first vinyl CD update for 2019. We're in the middle of this kind of months where it doesn't come in all that much to the thrift stores. Uh, it has been going on that for, for uh, years for some reason. People aren't leaving all that much to the thrift stores. and flea markets during February and January. Uh, so it, it w I have a feeling it will be kind of slow months, but uh, I won't say that January was a total catastrophe, catastrophe either, uh, as I have found a pretty good stack of records anyway. Uh, not as much as I, I was hoping for, but on the other hand, it might be for the better because I'm in the middle of my uh, culling my yearly culling in the record collection right now so so uh, maybe it is for the better to see how much I have been will be able to take away before I get a huge amount of records but we have vinyl singles we have CD singles CDs full length and vinyl full length so let's get started with vinyl singles and a whole bunch from one Swedish group uh, I have five singles from one Swedish group. Uh, a group called Flamingo Quintette, uh, mostly known as a dance band. I'm not all that interested in dance band's music, but the early 60s and 70s Flamingo Quintette can have pretty good stuff uh, and uh, pretty interesting, close to Schlager. Uh, and, uh, I'm a little weak for it, at least some of the songs. Uh, so we have here uh, the earliest one, I think this was from the late 60s. Nynna en song, Hammer Melody, and Hon är 16 år idag, which is a Swedish version of Happy Birthday Sweet 16. Uh, take a look now at the the uh, <laughs> the, the outfits of the, of the bands. Uh, we have here slight uh, Western style in Du är så skön Susanne, You're so sweet Susanne, and Nu finns bara minnena kvar, now there's only memory left. And we have here, whoa. Uh, Lyssna, det är viktigt, the Swedish version of Kiss Me, and gamla, Min gamla gula flygmaskin, uh, My old yellow uh, airplane. And we have Fourth uh, uh, of March, 1943. Fjärde i tredje, 1943. Lycka till med nästa kille. Good luck with the next uh, guy. Uh, and we have På en öde ö, on a desert island, and Tillsammans igen, together again. So, leaving the Swedish and go to maybe some more familiar th things. Uh, one of my absolute favorite 60s uh, songs that I found now on 7-inch. Uh, Mamas and the Papas, California Dreamin' and Groovy, Somebody Groovy at the B-side. <clears throat> and we have here something that I was really happy to find. It's not all that often that you find Blood, Sweat and Tears 7-inch uh, singles. But I managed to find Smiling Faces and Spinning Wheel. From their second album. So, really, really great one. Uh, CD singles, couple. Uh, I'm no huge fan of Guns N' Roses, uh, but they have made some great songs actually, and I'm thinking 
mostly of, of the ballads. And this might be one of my absolute favorites, uh, Guns N' Roses songs. Uh, actually, on this uh, CD single, there's two of my favorite Guns N' Roses songs. We have uh, November Rain. And on this uh, three-track CD uh, single, we have Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah. And we have Patience, which actually is a really, really good song. So, uh, that was good to have. Uh, I can't honestly say that I have, haven't have won Guns N' Roses album. But I have some singles, actually. Uh, and we have... Something that I was very happy to find, a Suede single from the Nude album from 1992, The Drowners and To The Birds and My Insatiable One. Uh, Swedish synth pop in uh, form of the band Spock. And Spock is a band that uh, has taken their image from um, Star Trek, of course. Uh, and uh, they're singing about aliens and space and so on. Uh, this s single is called Dr. McCoy. So a little bit odd Swedish synth pop. And we have uh, some Stock Aiken and Wonterman disco. Uh, a disco, it's a ballad, but, but they normally do disco. Sonia and her version of uh, Skeety Davis' End of the World. Uh, who, that was a pretty big hit here in Sweden in 1990. Of course, not just not as big as Skeeter Davis' version, of course, but it's a uh, really well-made cover. So, that, let's go to the CDs. We have uh, a Sundsvall band that I actually do like. Uh, when it comes to local bands from the city I live in, I can only say that there are only two artists that I can remember actually is good from the city of Sundsvall. It is a singer called Gina Jacobi and it is a band called The Confusions, an indie pop band. Uh, and uh, I'm not saying that only because uh, I know two of the members of the band. Uh, the singer and uh, the the girl who plays uh, organ, uh, but uh, I actually think they are really, really good uh, in the pop. Uh, and this is an album called. It sure looks like the Confusions, uh, but sounds more acoustic. And. Uh, it's an interesting story with when I found this one because I found it as you can see on Eric's Hjelpen, uh, our big thrift stores, uh, and uh, when I was sitting there uh, and uh, checking the quality of the records, like I always do, see like this, and uh, then all of a sudden the singer of the confusion marches in through the door uh, and uh, it's pretty funny I, I told him because that is the other person that I know from this band but uh, I th th thought this was a very very interesting coincidence we have Danish uh, singer Sanne Salomonsen uh, with a compilation from 2000 called Sanne's Besta Uh, we have a 90s artist that I actually, when he arrived, uh, I actually uh, fell for the, 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 his um, uh, breakthrough hit, or should I say his own biggest and only hit, uh, which I was pretty much uh, surprised with because it's at that time in 1999 when the song came, I was more into uh, Euro disco and trance music and so on. And uh, the fact that I actually liked this one who was a uh, little rocky stuff was, uh, I was a little surprised, but I thought it was a really great melody and very, very intelligent and funny production. And I'm talking about Greg Alexander, AKA New Radicals, and his, I think, uh, only album, Maybe You've Been Brainwashed Too. 
And the song I'm talking about, of course, is You Get What You Give. It's a really, really great song. Uh, we have a compilation, Best Of, Prefab pre Sprout, and A Life of Surprises. Uh, how about some jazz, maybe? Uh, we have four jazz CDs, uh, two of them from the same label, uh, a label, a low-budget label called Jazz Time, uh, which is one of these labels that uh, doesn't look all that interesting, but uh, definitely can uh, contain interesting stuff every now and then also among some where it is uh, lack of information and so on. But uh, in this case, I thought it was very, very interesting. Dexter Gordon uh, and There Will Never Be Another You. And this Dexter Gordon is recorded in Copenhagen in 1967, uh, where, when uh, Dexter Gordon actually lived in, in, uh, in Denmark. And here he plays with Kenny Drew piano, Nils Olsted Peterson bass, uh, Al Heath, uh, on drums. And we have uh, from the same label, Jazz Time, we have Kenny Burrell Trio and uh, All Night Long. This is a live recording from Village Vanguard in 1959. Uh, and uh, this is relaxing uh, evening, maybe midnight music with uh, guitar. Uh, Kenny Burrell, guitar, Richard Davis, bass, and Roy Haynes, drums. Uh, small band jazz in a very, very sophisticated and uh, relaxing style. Uh, maybe not so swinging, but uh, I, I like it anyway. I think it's very, very, very relaxing and soothing. So definitely will stay in my collection. And I do like Kenny Burrell. Uh, we have... a. Uh, Another low-budget label that is uh, very common here in Sweden when it comes to jazz CDs. Uh, I'm talking about Italian label Giants of Jazz. Uh, I thought maybe once I will do a, a series where I uh, present these low-budget labels of jazz that uh, are almost everywhere here in, in uh, uh, Europe because they are very low budget, uh, very mixed quality, but many of them are very underrated and contains a whole lot of interesting stuff for jazz collectors. Let's see if there are any interest for that in the future. Uh, here we have uh, Billie Holiday. Uh, I'm actually going to confess that I'm no big Billie Holiday fan. It's something with her voice that I have a little trouble with, but I do enjoy Billie Holiday's earliest works from the 30s, uh, but mostly of these uh, 30s recordings are with Teddy Wilson and his orchestra, which I have a five box CD set, I have so much with them, so the reason I bought this one was because it is an actual uh, little other recording, which actually Giants of Jazz can do sometimes. They can release uh, CDs with the most ordinary songs that everybody have heard uh, tons of times, but it can also release some that actually make you raise your eyebrows and wonder what? And that is definitely not usual. It's very unusual. And th this is th that case actually. Because uh, besides some little other uh, bands here, like uh, playing with Benny Goodman and his folks, I've never heard Billy Holiday with Benny Goodman. And uh, we have also here with the Count Basie uh, and Frankie Newton and his orchestra. But it's also a lot of uh, uh, songs here with her own orchestra, Billy Holiday and her orchestra, which I don't think I have anything with. And the recordings are from uh, 1933 to 40, 1940. So this one will be very, very interesting, actually. Uh, 
and we have now also a CD with uh, a brother of an even more famous uh, jazz entertainer uh, talking about Bob Crosby and his orchestra, the brother of uh, Bing Crosby. Uh, Bob Crosby, of course, had his Bobcats, but he also, in the later years, he also had an orchestra, Bob Crosby and his orchestra. And this is a MCA original American Decca recording release of uh, Bob Crosby and his orchestra and South Ramper Street Parade. Uh, and the Bob Crosby can be sometimes a bit much Dixieland and maybe sometimes even close to Spike Jones, but uh, also made some really great songs and most of them the best songs are with many having his own orchestra. Uh, so, uh, but here also is, of course, his most famous song, I think, The Big Noise from Vinetka. Uh, and, uh, but I really, I actually like these MCA, uh, American, uh, original American Decca recordings. I think they have a magnificent uh, quality on the records uh, and also filled with, with stuff that are both with uh, very famous songs, but also songs that you may not find uh, all that often. Leaving jazz for a while now and uh, coming to a double album that I was really interested in. Mark Knopfler and The Rag Picker's Dream uh, from 2002. As you can see, two CDs. Uh, limited edition double CD. And uh, of course there are the original uh, CD, but also a special edition CD with live recordings, five songs, among them uh, Brothers in Arms. So uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. We have a compilation with Lloyd Cole and the Commotions called the uh, 1984 to 89 normally i prefer compilations that are um, more that are more uh, of a spanning uh, uh, over a total artist's career uh, uh, that uh, contains most of the song from their artist's uh, whole career this is just the 80s but on the other hand, I'm not all that familiar with Lloyd Cole's 90s and, and the newer ones. So I thought, why not? Uh, I can actually, I think that Lloyd Cole during the 80s were at his best. The, what, what, uh, and the, the one I heard most. So why not? An 80s compilation with Lloyd Cole. Perfect Skin and, and uh, Lost Week and my, my, two of my favorite Lloyd Cole songs. And finally, when it comes to CDs. Uh, Morrissey, You Are the Query from 2004. Uh, I remember when this came, I wasn't all that impressed with the songs like First of the Gang to Die and so on. Uh, I don't know why, <laughs> but I wasn't at the time. But, but uh, it growth on me uh, pretty fast, so, so I. Could be very interesting. Listen to this one long after everybody else. <laughs> uh, going to vinyl and uh, starting with the uh, band in the more tougher genre, uh, we have a band whose father was a very well known uh, 1950s rock and roll singer. I'm talking about Rick Nelson. Uh, his two sons formed a band in the late 80s, early 90s called Nelson and the father Rick Nelson, of course. Uh, Nelson had one only hit, uh, I might say, Can't Live Without Your Love and Affection. That was the biggest hit. Uh, and uh, I actually remember when it came, I thought it was actually really, really, really good. Uh, so, so uh, uh, still think it's a really really good song so uh, it's gonna be very interesting to listen to their after the rain 
album and the title track I also was the second single uh, was a pretty good one so it's going to be very interesting listen to Nelson a little light heavy metal I might say uh, jazz and one of the crown jewels this month I was very happy to find for eight dollars this is a double LP set with Wardle Grey the memorial album released on prestige uh, and uh, prestige bonus jazz uh, prestige jazz bonus pack two albums for the price of one and this contains uh, Walter Gray in different kind of settings uh, between 1949 to, to 1951 we have uh, where he only plays with the with the with the rhythm section, and we have where he plays with the uh, wives and alt sax. We have where he plays with the uh, clock cherry trumpets and the Chris alto sax, uh, and uh, one that plays with Art Farmer on trumpet. So, and I listen to it to both uh, uh, records. And it is really, really, really good. I really like this album. Maybe one of the better jazz album I've found uh, for a while now so uh, I highly recommend this Walter Gray memorial album uh, soul music not that much soul this month uh, stylistics let's put it all together from 1974 containing you make me feel brand new Uh, more 70s uh, we have Loggins and Messina Mother Load from 1974 uh, Soul from the 80s that I bought for around $4 I think uh, at uh, Vinyl Salad our dear uh, record store uh, the SOS band, Sands of Time from 86. Uh, not, I don't have all that much with the SOS band, but one of the reasons why I bought it was because it was 80s soul from the mid 80s and it was produced by Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. So that can't be all that wrong, can it? Uh, get highest quality in my opinion. Uh, we have uh, more soul. This is an artist that I have discovered now recently. I don't, didn't have hardly anything before. Uh, Candy Staten and an album that is actually a bit water damaged in the sleeve, but I couldn't resist it for a dollar. Young Heart Run Free from 1976. Uh, and Ray Parker Jr., Ray, Jay Graydon, uh, Sonny Burke, uh, Rick Feldman. We have a whole lot of interesting names here. And finally, I found two uh, albums with Bill Joel from different kind of eras. Uh, we have his debut, The Stranger, containing his big hit, Just The Way You Are, from 19... Uh, 77 and from 1989 Stormfront I should listen to this one and I think it's a really really good album uh, this of course contains we didn't start the fire and I go to extremes uh, and it is a Bill Joel in mm, both rock and roll mood because it's a lot more guitars than uh, I think I've uh, heard him before and it's also uh, in a kind of sentimental mood because he, he uh, thinks about the uh, what's happening in the world of, of then back in 1989 a lot so so but it's a very very great album uh, really good and uh, surprising you never know what's going to come out next so that was my January 
so now let's see if my prediction comes true or not that February will be a little slower month maybe I will be surprised maybe it will be a good month who knows uh, I think I will try to do a response to uh, Robert C's uh, uh, thread where he wants us to show um, stuff that isn't music related I haven't figured out what yet because I've already shown my record my, my comic collection uh, so let's see what I can find out uh, that uh, actually can be interesting so uh, until next time I hope that every one of you have a real nice time no matter where you are no matter what you do take care <laughs>